Hey, so good morning. Up early. I already met with some some people like for these 6 30. Here's a cool thing about living in Hawaii. When you live in Hawaii, the time zones are crazy because it doesn't the time zone doesn't change here. And so we're always like three, four, five hours difference from different places. So like, I don't know. You get up early, you get stuff done. By the time it's like morning Hawaii time, everybody else is done working and this is actually where they um filmed all kinds of different movies including Lost and Pirates of the Caribbean. Don't believe me? Check it out. Lost Pirates. <laughs> okay, there you go. Check this place out. When my kids were babies, they loved to, I don't mean like tiny, tiny babies, but when they were little, little kids, they're still little kids, they love to climb up these things. It's like such a beautiful spot. <laughs> There's a lot of people out there that are so caught up in what they call keeping up with the Joneses that it's ridiculous. So I ridiculous, so crazy. What I mean is, it's it's called pride, but it's not just pride like, hey, I'm better than you. It's the pride like, hey, they're better, and therefore I hate them. Like pride goes both ways, and it needs to stop because you, when you think of the world as a pie where slices are taken out and there's nothing left. That scarcity mentality will destroy your ability to create abundance. The world is a cake. We're all throwing good ingredients in, making the batter bigger, so to speak. Batter bigger? Hmm, that's kind of cool. Batter better, bigger, better? Hmm, interesting tongue twister there. But as you pour in all the right ingredients, make it bigger, the cake actually gets bigger. There's more, there's an abundance for everybody. The reason this is so important is because there's always people out there that are so caught up in being better than someone that they focus their whole lives on doing something to be better than someone else. Which in some ways can create some like kind of cool opportunities, but in most ways you're destroying relationships and other people. Stepping on top of someone to feel like you're on top while you're squashing people on the bottom is not success, my friends. Success is when all ships rise with the tide. You're bringing everyone with you in some way, shape, or form. It doesn't mean that people are going to follow you, that they're going to do what you want to do, that they're going to come up with you because it's, it's choice. It's a choice. People are people. They're not boats. But when you intentionally push them, someone down to like be successful, not success. That success is a life short-lived. It's a short-lived success life cycle. It will be over quick. People that build a beautiful, awesome opportunity for the world Look for ways to help others bring them with them to the top. So there's room at the top. There's room. So few people are, are like unwilling to move towards the top. You can bring people with you. Try it. One of the most important things you can do, one of your tests of your character and your ability to understand your self-worth, which is innate, is this. Stop falling into the trap of measuring your worth by how much better you think you are than others. It hurts you, it hurts them. And what you need to start doing is act from that authentic center of where you are, you know that just because you are, you are valuable, you are worth it, you can do this. And regardless of how successful you are outwardly, and even regardless of how successful you are inwardly, you're not comparing yourself to others to identify whether you're worth it or not, whether you're good or not, whether you're bad or not. You just are awesome because you're awesome. You are because you were born. Now, that doesn't mean you can't strive for success. You can manage, there's a great book, it's called Good to Great, and he talks about level five leadership, and he talks about um, how some of the best CEOs in the world they combine professional will, like the desire to get good goals, do good things, achieve, but they match it with personal humility. And what that means is when things go right, he says they look out the window, they point and say, it went right because of my team, because of these people, because of these factors. When things go wrong, they look in the mirror and say, what did I do wrong that made this happen? 
Whereas you'll know, you'll notice that narcissists and, and people that are self-centered, egocentric, they'll look for ways to say, hey, everything's right because of me. And they'll say everything is um, wrong because of you. And, you know, it, every situation is different. It's situational. But when you look at the leader and what they're trying to achieve, you eliminate that pride, that ego. My wife likes to say that ego, E-G-O, stands for it's something she made up. It's actually pretty cool. E-G-O, ego, edging God out. Good job, Nat Nat. You're the best. And when people start thinking that they can rely on themselves and not on him, when they start looking at ways that they're the best and others aren't, that's when like people start <laughs> to crumble and, and, and they may think they're doing all this great stuff but it's really hard. So look for ways to be, have that professional will, that drive to achieve and to do good things and to make things happen, but also have the humility to understand that it's not all you, there are lots of factors, but recognize that you do have power, you are powerful, you can make things happen. Don't undervalue yourself, which would be a horrible thing to do, a thing to do, because you have been given so many good things to make a big difference in this world take it and run with it just don't be a jerk about it okay <laughs> be cool all right hey want to see a hawaiian monk seal so what i didn't tell you i was doing when i was over there at the beach and i saw the monk seal is i was doing a webinar <laughs> i saw the monk seal off i finished the webinar and took off my shoes and checked it out so a lot of the stuff you see a lot of stuff you see on this vlog is like in between stuff. You actually don't really know all the things that are happening. It's just kind of like the stuff I want to show you. And that's the way social media is. You can't see every piece of every life, just the stuff you want to show. So I try to show you some fun stuff, some good stuff. I try to tell you some hard stuff that's happening. I try to make it as real as possible. But yo, I'm not videoing myself all day long. This thing just takes like moment by moment and then it's all pieced together. So there you go. <laughs> Nana, we just got back from our date, but not really a date, because every time we do a date, it's like we're actually doing stuff. It was a date, though. We went and got food. We, we definitely got Costco hot dogs. <laughs> <laughs> we totally got Costco hot dogs. And so I have a question for you. Um, I have an answer for you. How is a pineapple like life? You know? It's pokey on the outside, but sweet on the inside. And tell me how life is like riding a wave. You gotta take your spills to get your thrills. Ooh, yes, I learned that <laughs> as a young child. And did you have a good day today? Yes. Was it pineapple -y and ocean y? Yeah. Tell me a secret. Tell me all your secrets. <laughs> oh, sweetie. I love you. Let's go inside. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Natalie? Yeah. Tell us what your favorite part of your day was today. My favorite. <laughs> you know what I'm gonna say. <laughs> okay, this is true. Sorry. We're we're in Wahiwa, and we're getting like picking up a prescription. And this guy drives by, and he's like in a low rider, and he has all his windows down. And his like base is pumping, right? And so Dad decided that would be a good idea for us to do. I saw it as a challenge. Yes, exactly. <laughs> and so we got in our car in our wrapper car rolled down all of our windows and he blasted this like loud rap music and he made me bob my head like this in sync like synchronized with him and we went down the back alleys and he went down all the back alleys of walking we got really good looks everyone knew we were amazing like baller hardcore true or not true hardcore alleys. partially <laughs> actually i think he wanted to kill true. us Partially but true. it was so don't try it at home because it seems dangerous. But you know. All right, it's the evening time. Me and Lincoln and Raleigh are gonna go surfing. What is Carden doing? He's at his friend's house. At a friend's house. Be back in a few. <laughs> surfing was good, and I came back and got my girl. I'm his girl. She was taking a nap. I was. And we got the dog. Okay, so 
so it's like 12:40 something middle of the night um long days but lots of fun lots of good stuff lots of worthy amazing projects i take off tomorrow uh for the mainland for about a week um, but what I want to share right now is this, and I've, sh I don't know, man, I've shared it in different places, different circumstances. I don't know if I've shared it here before, but um, everything starts in your head, man. You, you, you first think it, and then you create it. And that's the message today. Stop thinking these bad thoughts about bad things. Every time you think of a bad thought, your mind goes there. When you think of um, good thoughts, your mind goes there. If you start worrying about things you don't control, things you can't like fix, you're going to start freaking out. But when you start focusing on things you have an influence over, things you can do something about, mm, then things can change. If you want to create an awesome world for yourself, an awesome experience for yourself, you know, even if there's craziness happening around you, you think through it first. It's first created here, and then it's created out here, for example. Somebody thought of this bizarre postcard thing and somehow it's in my house. Mermaids don't do vacuuming. What? And then someone thought of what? Oh, dude, that's a candle. Like, I had no idea. That's how it happens. So there you go. Get out there. Create something. Create it here. Create it out there. And live a ruckus life. A ruckus list. Wow. <laughs>